Hey guys, it's Tamoya here and welcome back to another video. Now, I just recently just cut my bangs like not even five minutes ago. Um, so yeah, now you can see my eyes. Um, but today I'm so excited because last week I showed you guys that the special bonus and the end was this Kakashi. Now, literally on that same day that I uploaded that video, someone knocked on the door and to give me this Gara. Now, I don't mean like someone as in a stranger. I mean USPS. So, I got Gara and Kakashi. And today we're going to be unboxing both of them because I'm very excited to see the Vibration Stark um, collection of this Bandai naruto -ness. So, we're going to get started and we're going to start off with Kakashi. So, let's open them up and see what we got. So we have Kakashi in one, two, three, four parts. Okay. It reminds me of the Grandista a little bit. Um, so hopefully it's the same way, same quality, same oomph that the figures kind of need. Um, so both, well, actually Kakashi for me was $25, but Gara was actually twenty dollars so hopefully they are as good of quality as the grandista ones because those are awesome so we're gonna start off with the base and yeah it's very simple very basic for a twenty five dollar one it's not surprising but there's the bondi on the back so always check for the bondi um that is their logo that's how you know if it's um, real or not most of the time um, then we have the the stand piece which actually goes right on here so we're gonna just quickly put that on there boom there we go and then we have the bottom part of the Kakashi now I will say that for $25 this is actually pretty good love it I like this um, there's a lot of detail, especially like you see where the toes are, like it's like nicely detailed. Um, so that's that part. The stand is for this section of the figure, which that this is where like the $25 kind of shows. Um, it's not the easiest thing to put in, which I have no idea why I got that in. And now we're actually going to be looking at the top part. Ooh, look at that. Now the lightning blade, a little, little, hmm, I don't know, a little questionable. Um, lightning blade's not that blue. I will say that it's not that blue. Um, but Kakashi, like if you were to take this off, Kakashi looks awesome yeah the spikes of his hair like there are some minor details that i would say you could do better bandai i'm just saying but again for 25 dollars, i think this is great um but yeah so we're gonna just connect him to and voila what do you think he's not heavy but you know what he reminds me of he reminds me of the vegeto um because it's shaky shaky not as much as the vegeto one thank god um because that one like i move it and it's like quick um um so yeah this is actually pretty cool um i would say that it doesn't look like the artwork itself at least with the chidori section she thought it looks more like it's water here. This is just like, I don't know what's going on here. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? I mean, anyone who loves Kakashi and wants, just wants to have a figure of Kakashi, this is one great deal, honestly. We're going to move on to the Gara because the Gara is actually heavier than the Kakashi. And I'm actually wondering why. So we're going to open Gara up. Ooh we so there are one, two, three, four, five parts to Gara and the weight is coming from his gourd and his lower body. We're going to open them up. 
obviously starting with the base and it's probably the exact same base as the kakashi one um because you know i don't know why gara was cheaper but i got gara at amazon and kakashi was from hot topic so yeah same thing plain base we have the bondi on the back which is great um oops it was upside down bondi right there but this one is different we actually have this stand right here and then these two holes for something so we're gonna check that out um the stand is actually way smaller than the kakashi one like bam small so i'm just gonna insert it there it was a lot easier to put in um now we're going actually to the real thing that we're looking forward to so it starts off with the top half of gara and to my greatest surprise the details are a lot better on gara than they are on kakashi love you kakashi you're my father but this gara is a lot more well detailed can't tell if you i don't know if you can see it on camera but like the hair doesn't have too many um little bumps and ends it's more actually a lot more well done um gara is just fantastic but look at this gourd this is like the gourd itself is just wow the gourd i mean i'm trying to find a way to show it to you guys it's well done the sand i think it's good as it can get because sand like jidori could be, could have been clear but the gara like the sand you can't really do much with that so this is great lower body this is so weird um so for his lower body you actually have to put this part on the stand um like that's where the holes are coming from. But again, the detail of Gara's figure, like you can see a little bit of the um, little, mm, it doesn't bother me too much, but it's there, like little, little, little bumps. But honestly, it's, okay, there are two ways you could do Gara. You could take off the gourd and then probably put this in. I'm honestly not really sure what this is supposed to do. Um, I'm assuming it's to like hold up the gourd, um, but like it doesn't really say it's not showing it on the picture. I'm a little confused, um, but I think you could put it up here. Like if you insert it, it's probably just to hold up the gourd, even though so far the gourd is there perfectly fine. I don't see the... I don't really see the use for this part. It's not really going anywhere, to be quite honest with you. Um, but I will say if you do get this figure, you're gonna have to stretch Garva's legs a little bit because if you try to put it in as is, um, his feet won't go into the, to the thing. So a little on that. Um, I think that they executed the quality of how the figure looks, the details, perfectly well. However, I will say that at least with the base, the stand, um, it's a little messed up. So I see the pros and the cons between like these two. Like the stand here is a lot better, uh, a lot less confusing, um, even though Kakashi's you know, the main thing of Kakashi that's bothering me is his lightning way. This is beautiful. As far, like, if you see Gara, this is amazing. But for the base, I would say that there is some problems with the base. I'm confused on what this is supposed to do. Um, so now it's just like there's a hole on the base because um, there's no reason why this is there. Um the you can't really put gara completely well on his base so i would say that the flaws is more on the base but if i had to go on figure itself details and quality i will give gara a super 9.5 out of 10 and it in the kakashi and mm, 8 out of 10. so what do you guys think these are the third and fourth 
vibrations that came out from this collection. I will be getting Naruto and Sasuke soon, so stay tuned for that. So that's all I have for you guys for today's video. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'm actually thinking about making a second channel um, because I do want to do all these other stuff like, you know, maybe different mukbangs or just vlogs or my everyday kind of thing, you know. Um, but I want to I want to see what you guys think. Please let me know in the comments below. I think I will be making a poll on YouTube. So hopefully all of you guys um, let me know more or less what you guys are thinking, what you guys want. Um, because I want to keep this channel just the unboxing of anything. Um, so I don't want to mix it up. So please let me know. Um, but yes, please. Th thank you so much. I don't know why I said please. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. I make new videos every Sunday and you can follow all my other social media accounts in the description below and I will see you all next Sunday. So myself, Gara, and Kakashi are out. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.